Today we are going to discuss the Craig Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is blazoned ermine on a fest sable, three crescents argent, crest a chevalier on horseback, his broken spear in bend all proper. This belonged to the Craigs of Rickerton in Scotland. Lewis Craig, born around the year 1559, was a Scottish judge and senator of the College of Justice. He was the son of Sir Thomas Craig of Rickerton, seen here, a jurist, poet, advocate, and sheriff, who in turn was the son of Robert Craig, a merchant in Edinburgh, who was the son of Thomas Craig, who died in 1562. Also of this family was John Craig, a Scottish physician and astronomer, as well as Robert Craig, born 1730, a Scottish lawyer, landowner, political runner, writer, the son of James Craig, who was professor of civil law at the University of Edinburgh. And I have a note here that says, shield is the same as the seal used by Margaret Craigie, who was alive in the year 1377. And here we see the family estate of Rickerton House. Next is Craig of Greenford in Middlesex, England. Philip Craig Esquire owned the manor of Stickleton Greenford in 1737, which was later occupied by General Francis Craig. Ermine on a fess sable, three crescents argent, crests on a chapeau gules, turned up ermine, a fleur de lis between two wings azure, for Craig of Ireland, confirmed in the year 1600 to John Craig, set to descend from a third brother of the house of Craig in England. And I have a note here that says, likely the John Craig who was living at Coleraine in 1626 brother-in-law of Thomas Hillman. Another I have here, Ermine on a fess per, I'm sorry, on a fess per fess gules and azure, three crescents argents. Uh, crest was the same as several slides ago. Ermino on a fess parted per fess embattled gules and azure, three crescents argent for Craig of Dalnair in Scotland. There was Captain William Craig of Dalnair, alive in the year 1765, as well as Sir James Henry Craig, born 1748, a British military officer and colonial administrator, who was the son of Hugh Craig, a judge in Gibraltar, who was the son of James Craig of Corstartan and Dalnar, born 1680, who in turn was the son of Reverend James Craig, minister of Killern. Ghouls a fess ermine between three crescents argent, crest a lion's head vert collared or. Ghouls a fess ermine between three bridges of three arches argent, crest a demi lion ghouls holding in the dexter paw a mullet or. For James Craig, born 1871, he was created a baronet in the year 1918, and elevated to the peerage as Viscount Craigavon of Stormont in the county of Down. He served as the first Prime Minister of Northern Ireland and was the sixth son of James Craig of Craigavon House, born 1828, a wealthy whiskey distiller. And here we see the family estate. Ermine of Fess Ghouls, crest and arm and armor and bowed, holding in the hand a dagger for Captain William Alfred Craig of Treekingham House in Falkingham in County Lincolnshire, England, born 1859, a Justice of the Peace and Deputy Lieutenant, son of William Craig of Threekingham, who was the son of William, who was the son of John Craig of Threekingham, who died in 1832. Sable on a fess argent between three mullets ermine, as many crosses crosslet ermines. For this is for Craig's of Westminster in Durham, England. 
granted in the year 1691 to James Craigs of Westminster. He was the son of Anthony Craigs of Follies and Weissel. And also by the Craigs of Newland in County Dublin, uh, James Craig of Wisley, Walsingham, and Durham, and of Newland and Dublin, had three daughters who married into the Tropus, Alberts, and Newsham families. Sable on a bent or three cross crosslets of the first between as many mullets ermine for Craigs of Charlton and County Kent, England. Quarterly engrailed or and asher in the first quarter and escalop ghouls granted in the year 1626 to Harriet Craig, wife of Richard Elliot, Esquire of St. Germain's, an illegitimate daughter of James Craig the Younger, born 1658, an English politician who was son of James Craig the Elder of Westminster and Charlton, born 1657, a financier and Whig politician who was the eldest son of Anthony Craggs of Durham. Sable on a pile or a lion passant garden, Asher, three crescent schools, granted in 1826 to Elizabeth Lincoln Craggs, only issue of William Craggs of Burstwick in Holderness in Yorkshire, England, who was the wife of Joseph Elgin Esquire of Kingston upon Hall. Uh, one for Craig of Gramsey in Orkney, Scotland, registered in the 1670s to William Craigie of Gersay. Erming a boar's head ghouls, crest a boar passant argent. Purpale azure and sable a chevron argent between three crescents or. For Craig of Kilgraston in County Perth, Scotland. John Craig, born 1757, son of John, son of Lawrence, who was Baron of the Exchequer, who was the son of Lawrence, who was the son of another Lawrence, and ultimately they descended from Alexander Craig, who died in 1610. They were all of Kilgraston, and John had sons John Craig, born 1793, and Robert Craig, who was an admiral in the Royal Navy. Other members of this family included Lawrence Craig, merchant who served as Lord Provost of Glasgow, and General Sir Patrick Edmonston Craig, born 1794, who we see here. Another for Craig of Dumbarney in Perth, Scotland. John Craig, who died in 1765, was son of John Craig, professor of philosophy at St. Andrews. They were both of La Hill, or Ha Hill, and of Dumbarney, and looks like John had elder brother James Craig. Per pale, sable, and azure on a chevron ermine between three crescents or a cross Molina the first, crest a cornucopia proper. For Craig of Glen Doak, or Doik in Scotland. Robert Craig, born 1688, a Scottish politician and judge, assumed the judicial title of Lord Glendoke. He had a great nephew, Robert Craig, who was Lord Craig, born 1754, a Scottish lawyer. And another member of this family was John Craig, a political figure in Quebec, Canada, who died in 1813. And here we see the family estate in the modern day. Argent on a bent asher between two greyhounds current, sable, three martlets or crest a falcon's head, cooped in argent collared ghouls between, I'm sorry, ghouls wings a door spendy of four or and sable, for Krug, granted between the years 1613 and 1650. Um, I have a note here, this is where a John Krug of Exeter in Devonshire, who died in 1533. And another note here that says it was born by John Kruger, who was born on the year 1678, 
possibly an immigrant from England, Holland, or Germany. He had relatives in England, uh, recorded his family records in Dutch, and a Dutch Bible printed in Holland. Okay, so looks like he was from mainland Europe, uh, possibly a descendant of Baron von Kruger. And the next two, we don't have the shield or escutcheon for, but we know the crest, this one being a pillar argent for a crag in Scotland. And for a crag in England, we have on a chapeau ghouls turned up ermine, a fleur-de-lis between two wings azure. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, where we offer genealogy research service, high-resolution digital JPEGs, and heraldic merchandise such as t-shirts, posters, mugs, and canvas prints. Like, share, and subscribe. Link in the description. Thank you very much.